Good day everyone, it's Alan Benson from Blue Ocean Systems here. Um, we're, try- we're going to be demoing to you some new features in SAP Business One 9.1 around emailing and with specific reference to emailing bulk documents. Um, the first one I wanted to show you was statements. So. SAP has upgraded the entire email engine and will allow us to email uh, bulk documents, bulk statements and also any other marketing documents you wish. The way this is accomplished is the following. Uh, First thing you need to do is for every business partner that is going to be receiving the appropriate emails, you need to define what's called an email group. So if you go to your business partners and you go to contact people, I've set up some email contacts here as examples and what you can do you'll see there's a new field here called email group if you pull that down you can go and define any email groups you wish I've set up invoice purchase orders sales orders and statements Um, and I'm going to be demoing some statements and sales order sales order acknowledgements for you today and obviously you'll have the appropriate email address You don't have to have a statement contact. You could have a person at the organization that would get normal. uh, It'll be a normal contact. But a lot of the times using the standard contact on an email is not really pertinent for the specific document that you're selling, sending. For example, sales acknowledgement might go to one department in a company, invoices might go to the financial department, delivery nights might might go to the shipping department. So having a single contact and using the the old way that Business One handled this um, um, is problematic. So currently, this is where it differs. So you need to define um, however many uh, different contacts. Now you can only have one email group per contact. So if you do want to define a statement contact and a uh, a sales order contact and an invoice contact and they all happen to be the same email address, you would need to set that up three times. But it is important that you define the email group for this purpose. I'm going to start with statements. I've set up three users, three business partners that have both sales order and statement. And I'm going to start with statements. Now if we go to statements and just go to financial, financial reports, accounting, aging, and then customer receivable aging, and I run that, I'll then get my standard statement screen. And so where does this differ? Well, historically what you used to do is basically highlight all the business partners you wish to print statements for and press the print button. Well, in this instance, you don't do that. You press the email button, which makes logical sense. And in a few seconds, you'll then see it will come up with email options and it will say, do you want to email this to a group? And you choose the appropriate email group that you wish to send this to. And hitting OK, will then go and um, generate. Now, this is the important piece. It will generate the PDF document for all three documents already for you. And here it actually puts the path where that document has been saved and it also puts the name of the document, which is the name of the document that will actually be created in the normal attachments folder for that specific user. Now, um, this will then generate um, a to statement. It will also have an email address, a subject area and a body. Now the subject area and the body can be fully edited here, but normally one wouldn't actually do that. You would go and do this in your document settings for your statements. And when you do this in your document settings, you will have a consistent subject and a consistent body heading, which will then uh, frame the actual email so that when that email gets sent out, it always has a consistent form. So I'm going to go back and actually show you how to do that quickly. And if we if we go and do that, it's about going into administration, uh, in system initialization and document settings. And you would do this per document. So if we took something, for example, as a sales order in the system, um, it's not there. It is. Apologies for that, it is in print preferences. And per document, 
And if we then go down to sales order, for example, you will see that on the sales order, you have an email subject, call it sales order. And body. And dear And obviously you can define whatever you need for this. If you double click on it, you will get a detailed text editor. If you have uh, someone in your organization who can generate for you HTML, um, it will generate HTML automatically and it will become an HTML email. You can also um, choose to email the document directly from this section as well. So when you add a document you could have this emailed automatically but obviously this is not going to be a bulk email this is going to email to the appropriate contact immediately it's not going to go to a specific email group so normally we don't set that and you'd probably you you do a day end run where you'd actually prepare your emails so now if we go and continue and let's go if we go straight back into that if we go back into financials and we go into financial reports accounting aging we look at our aging I will choose the first three and I will choose to email that and send that to statements as you see the statements that will then be generated you just simply have to say send now and they've all been queued up and they would then go straight away into the outbox where you can see over here that the emails are now queued up in the outbox and would be taken care of by the normal email interface. Um, Business One also in this version is fully integrated with Outlook. So if you go into your general settings, um, you now have an option under services to either send the email through SAP Business One Mailer, or if you have Outlook installed through the Outlook Mailer. Um, and that's integrated and built in to Business One. No Outlook integration is required to actually make that function work. Now, um, so here's, that's an example with doing statements. Now, I wanna show you an example using any marketing documents in Business One as well. If we go to Sales Document Printing, I've set up a couple of documents uh, today that are queued up for printing. I've got three sales orders queued up. Here I'm simply doing it for sales orders, but you could do it for absolutely any marketing documents that we have in the system. All right, and obviously you can filter that by series. You can show which form you want to print. So whether you're doing the document and batch serial number, the document only. So you have different form types that you can do. Um, here what you can do is only only documents still to be printed so this will obviously only queue up any documents that haven't yet been printed or emailed out and obviously here you'd want to only send open sales orders because sales orders that have already been delivered are too late in any case and at this point you would simply hit OK and the system would then be preparing to print three documents for you but of course we don't want to be printing them we want to be emailing them so highlight, highlighting the whole list and simply hitting the email button on the top left will then pull in the um, the emailing system it's then going to ask you okay so what is the email group that we're going to be using for this specific block of documents you hit OK and now you will see you have all the emails come up and you will have all the subjects specific to sales order so there's the uh, sales order subject over here the body of the subject is over here um, and that information will all come from document printing settings and as per normal you would simply hit the send button and those would now be queued to email and now you've been able to bulk email all your sales orders at the end of a day, for example, or multiple times during the day. Um, 
And so that ends this, uh, this uh, quick introduction to some of the new features in uh, SAP Business One 9.1.